Snails are just my speed. A tune book written and illustrated by Kevin McClowski. Hey, what's the scoop behind all the mucus? Did you know snails build roads like engineers and go undercover in camouflage like spies? This is a 2.6 AR level book. Worth half a point if you decide to test. And just in case you were curious, there are 459 written words. <laughs> Let's get started on our sensational snail story. Snails live in shells. I'm always home. Here we have our snail inside its shelter, which just so happens to be a shell. The author, author has given us a picture of a motorhome in the background to give us a personal connection to shelters. Notice the similar shape of the motorhome to the shape of the snail shell. Snails move very, very slowly. Wait up, you guys. Our little earthworm down there says, Me? I'm 50 times faster than a snail. I'm almost 300 times faster than you, little snail, said the tortoise. And I'm 70 times faster than you, tortoise, said the squirrel. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I'm four times faster than a squirrel. I'm almost twice as fast as a pigeon. Who would have thought that a worm could be 50 times faster? It can be good to be slow. Animals see their prey when it moves. I see you. But does he see the flying of the butterfly, the hopping of the frog, the skittering of the bug? The crawling of the ants or the hopping of the grasshopper or the wiggling of the worm? Me? And there's our clever snail, still as a stone. Snails can also hide from their predators. Hey, where did that snail go? Our shells make us look like rocks. Shh. What eats snails? I'm so glad you asked, boys and girls. Salamanders eat snails, and hedgehogs, toads, frogs, big blue herons. Help! I'm getting out of here! How many snails do you see in the picture? Can you tell the difference between a snail and a stone? Happy counting! Snails build roads of slimy mucus. Follow me, my mucus friends! Let's go this way. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. What function do you think that serves, boys and girls? You can pause the video if you'd like to think about it for a moment. Our first snail is the trailblazer. He's putting down a significant amount of energy to travel across ground that has a lot of friction, a lot of rubbing. After he goes by with his mucus, the next snail in line can travel across that mucus path, which allows him to not expend as much energy, so it's easier. And then the third also puts down mucus and has an even easier time slipping across the ground and so forth and so on, right down the slime trail. They follow one another's trails, and they like to eat together. I'm not sure if the gardener would agree. 
but they do look like they're having fun. Snails can make a lot of mucus. Mucus is my sunscreen. Wow, now there's a superpower. Protect from sunburn and from drying out. Way to go, slime mucus. With mucus, they can travel on any surface. I can climb over a knife and not get hurt. My mucus can be slippery like oil or strong like glue. I'm out of here. <laughs> the fact that they're able to change the consistency of their mucus is pretty cool. So when they need to travel across a surface, they can make their mucus quite slick and slippery to help them with their movement. movement. But they can also have really sticky, strong-like mucus, which lets them climb vertical surfaces just like that glass jar, even the sides of your home. It's a plane. It's a bird. It's super snail. I think it's supposed to go the other way, isn't it, boys and girls? <laughs> is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's super snail. That's better. <laughs> oh, your shell is broken. Yes, but I can repair it with mucus glue. Oh, yuck. That's enough about mucus. Come on. People make lots of mucus, too. Yes, but it's on the inside. <laughs> Did you know that our eyes, our sinuses, our nose, mouth, throat, lung, stomach, and even our guts produce mucus? Yep, you heard it, boys and girls. We are mucus machines. Humans make over four cups, four cups of mucus every day. Yuck! <laughs> Are you getting hungry after all this mucus talk, boys and girls? Did you know some people not only eat snails, but they pay good money to eat snails at fancy dancy restaurants? It's called escargot. Well, there are farmers that help to raise snails, and about a week before they're sold to a restaurant, they're fed a special food. It's a mixture of flour and water, and that helps to purify the snail to make it safe to eat. How about that? Oh boy, we're going to a restaurant. That poor little snail may change his mind when he finds out he's on the menu. <laughs> no matter how hungry you are, boys and girls, don't try this at home. Never, I repeat, never eat a raw snail. Don't worry, not going to happen. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Amazing snails live everywhere on earth. At the bottom of the sea and high up in the mountains, there are hairy snails in the rainforest. Glass snails have a see-through shell. Amazing, these sensational snails. Did you know there's a giant African snail, also called the tiger snail because of its stripes? It can grow up to 15 inches long. That's right, 15 inches. Then there's the Asmela nana snail. It's so small, it fits through the eye of a needle. Now that's teeny, tiny. A snail's tongue. Stick out your tongue, boys and girls. Let's see it. A snail's tongue can have over 14,000 teeth. You heard me right. Not in its mouth, on its tongue. 14,000 teeth. It's kind of like a cheese grater or a finger file. And its function is to break up its food into teeny tiny little pieces so it can swallow it and stay healthy. 
Even the common garden snail is pretty amazing. Here's a map of a snail. Let's start with its foot and go up. We have the muscly foot that helps it with its movement. There's a white organ called a dart sac. There's its heart, digestive gland, stomach, kidney, liver, lung. Look at the size of that lung. Crop, breathing pore, brain, eyes, tentacles, mouth, tongue, and teeth. And if you keep going just a little bit further, there's that nice, green, juicy looking organ called the mucus gland. A snail's eyes are weak. He can't see very well, but it uses its lower tentacles to feel and smell. Mmm, what's that delicious smell? Could it be? Yes, it is. A flower. Feel those soft petals. Mmm, I think I'm hungry. There are thousands of kinds of snails and many more types of slugs. Slugs are snails without shells. Hey, did you run away from home? No, I'm a slug. Every snail is both male and female. That's my mommy. That's my daddy. So we're sisters. That's right. And brothers. Pretty sensational. Snails shoot arrows at each other before they reproduce and make babies, otherwise known as offspring. The story of Cupid's arrows may have come from snails' love darts. Oh, isn't that sweet? Monks, who happen to be people that recorded information in books and in speech, they would often illustrate stories in medieval books using knights in shining armor battling not a fiery dragon, but a snail. Nobody really knows why monks drew so many snails. Maybe it's because snails are fun to draw. So you should try one today. Start with a six. Circle around a few times into a spiral. Close up the shell. Draw the body and eyes. Don't forget the mucus. The trick with snails is to draw slowly. Oh, lovely! About the author, Kevin McClowski teaches illustration at Pennsylvania's Klutztown University. After writing this book, Kevin is practically a snail expert, but he can't tell us whether the snails served in restaurants are tasty. He's never eaten one. What's the closest he's come to trying snails? Kevin says, sometimes when I cook artichokes, I put a clove of garlic in the leaves. Then when they're cooked, I forget I put a garlic in and I think there's a slug in my food. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this story. There's many more great snail adventures to come. <laughs> I hope you join me next time. Bye bye.